America's Heroes group. Steve, how are you? I am well, Cliff. How are you today? Good. Thank you so much for joining us. And we also have attorney Dan, Dan Seidman, personal injury right. offices located in Belleville and St. Louis. Dan, are you with us? Uh, Dan is actually next of me, and I'm I'm going to hand him the phone in just <laughs> okay. a moment. We're, I thought there may be some today, relationship. Very low tech, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay, well, what we want to discuss, and uh, Steve, help us. You know, you, you folks go back. You can hear me, but uh, th this is an important thing that you folks are dealing with. The discussion, and many of our listeners and our, our uh, veterans and their families know about this problem, uh, litigation against 3M for <laughs> defective hearing devices given to military personnel. And, uh, Steve, many veterans are now suffering a hearing loss. Is that correct? That's correct. Actually, it's, it's quite the staggering statistic. And uh, I'm going to pass the phone over to Dan in a moment. Okay. Um, what, what happened was is that 3M purchased a company, and we'll get into a little bit more specifics in a moment, mm -hmm. and that company... Uh, that they purchased, uh, did, truthfully manufactured, allegedly defective devices, which then 3M took over. And yet, even though they pay, they flunked OSHA um, uh, testing, um, they were still sold to the military. In 2016, there was what we call a KETAM case brought, and that was a, a case brought for the United States government on behalf of a certain company trying to recover. It's a whistleblower lawsuit. And in fact, there was a paltry $9.1 million paid back to the government. However, 3M is now being sued. Um, we're among those who are, are actually suing them for uh, basically the defective nature of these devices. And they're the hearing devices that were used by military personnel um, throughout the course of uh, their employment or uh, deployment. So I'm going to turn the phone over to Dan to explain a little bit about we are filing lawsuits on this for the loss of hearing. And in fact, I think the th statistic is 25% of all claims for disability from VA, 25% costing approximately um, perhaps billions of dollars per year are for hearing loss. So um, I'd like to introduce uh, the better half of the Sidemen crew here, <laughs> Dan Sidemen, to explain a little bit about it, Cliff. Thank you so much, Steve. Dan, Hi, Cliff. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for joining us. But it was, uh, Thanks for uh, having us. Oh, absolutely. Steve is telling me 25%. This is uh, unbelievable. This is a, a, a horrible situation. I'm glad you folks are taking care of it. Tell us about it, Dan. So 25%, they estimate between 25 to around 30% of all VA uh, disability benefits being paid are auditory related or hearing related. And that's only the, the uh, injuries that are found to be uh, service related. As we know that you know there may be more than that that weren't found uh, service related. So it's a very common um, injury. In fact, it's the hallmark injury. It's been said of the post 9/11 uh, service um, hearing related. Uh, there's impact uh, injuries which are from uh, you know, quick bursts, uh, intense bursts from weaponry, um, percussion in injuries that damage the eardrum mm -hmm. uh, but the most common one would just be steady steady uh, loud um, noises steady uh, noise exposure from uh, vehicles from aircraft and it is uh, a staggering uh, number um, so that's just the scope of the problem it's 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 huge and so there was a whistleblower case brought in 2016 and that's how we learned the allegations um, that uh, that are the basis of our 3m claims basically uh, 3M's predecessor company, Aero, uh, had been, um, they had this idea that they were going to make a double sided earplug. And, uh, in theory, it's a good idea. So the okay. one side, um, allows for some low level, uh, hearing so you could hear, uh, communication. Um, obviously, communication when you're dealing with weaponry is a big issue. And so, uh, it's good in theory that one side allows for some communication and the other side, basically blocks uh, all sound. Um, the problem is when they tested uh, the, the one side for the, the communication side, um, it not only failed, allegedly, it uh, amplified the volume. So it actually made things louder, which is incredible. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And um, moreover, <laughs> on top of that, uh, not only did they make things louder, 
which is obviously not uh, helpful at all. But they then concealed that. And uh, when they got the, um, the contract uh, to become the exclusive earplug uh, provider uh, for uh, service members for the military, mm-hmm. um, they had concealed that fact that, that their <laughs> device made noise louder um, for service members. And so, I mean, that's a classic case of money over um, the welfare, over safety of, uh, of veterans, mm-hmm. the uh, safety of those who serve. This and is so that, horrific. Now, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Go right ahead. No, well, I'm sorry to cut you off, Cliff. And so then, um, in order to uh, basically get the other side to pass, they then manipulated the product itself, uh, the the device itself, by flipping out one of the parts of the earplug during testing. And these are things that we learned again through uh, the whistleblower um, case, the whistleblower complaints. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So they flipped out this part of the earplug that. Really, in the instructions, it doesn't say to do this, but they manipulated the product so that it did actually block the sound in this manipulated way. Um, so they ended up passing the test that way, and that's how they got the contract. Um, again, allegedly. Um, however, in the you know the way that it's instructed, nobody knows to to do it like this. Uh, it's it, it's a way that was completely manipulated in order to get the contract. And again, you know, it's money over the um, yeah. over the health and the safety of uh, those who served. Were, were there any other uh, companies that that, that had uh, tried to get the contract or not? I, I imagine that there were, and the mm-hmm. whistleblower case was actually brought by uh, 3M's main competitor. Okay, well, that's um, and it. So then, yeah. it, it mm-hmm. may have been a situation where uh, mm-hmm. others were competing for that contract. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fact that a request for um, request for bids was sent out would indicate that, yes, uh, there were others competing for that contract. Mm-hmm. So I imagine that, that uh, there were. And by the way, the testing um, is required by OSHA in order to get the contract. So they expressly, by covering up results of uh, their testing, by manipulating their product to pass testing, um, that is concealing uh, important facts that the government needs to know and that was in the request for uh, bid, um, for bids, when they gave out the contract. So they actually had, uh, and this is what the whistleblower complaint alleges, made misrepresentations to the government um, in order to get the contract. And as a result of that, Dan, what we have is people who have uh, the hearing problem, but is even worse than it would have been had it not been for this, uh, what, 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 uh, these folks have done. That's absolutely correct. Is is you know our understanding of it mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. if if the contract had gone to um, an earplug that actually worked, worked. Mm-hmm. something that actually stayed inside of the ear canal, because mm-hmm. the problem with with this earplug is that that it was double sided and the two sides were too close to each other, so they would become imperceptibly loose inside of the ear canal. So that it was as if somebody was not wearing earplugs, even though they thought that they, you know, were wearing it correctly. Mm -hmm. So if they had been wearing, uh, you know, your typical functioning earplugs, um, I would imagine that the extent of this problem would not be as bad as it is. And again, hearing loss and uh, ringing in the ears, which is tinnitus, is the hallmark um, injury of post uh, post 9-11 service. Yeah, 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 absolutely right. Our call-in number is 312-374-8130. We are pleased to have Attorney Steve Seidman with us and also Attorney Dan Seidman, uh, and we are talking to them both about the litigation against 3M for defective hearing devices given to military personnel, and many veterans are now suffering from hearing loss, and uh, they are able to take cases on this. And uh, we have a caller. Let's go to uh, Phil. Phil, hi. How are you? Hello, Cliff. I'm good. good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, um, you know, I'm a service-connected disabled veteran, and I, I have a, I, I was diagnosed with the tinnitus. I had a ringing in my ears. They mm-hmm. say it'll never go away. However, they said that it is not comp- I can't be compensated for it because of the fact that you and I can have this conversation right now. The fact that I can hear you and communicate with you is a reason that I cannot be compensated for my hearing loss. 
who wants to respond to to, to that? So, the, and that would have to do with the, the actual VA uh, service connected um, findings for disability, and that you know they have their specific criteria uh, criteria for finding uh, disability, and that's true. It's restrictive, and uh, famously, you know, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to criticize the, the VA, but, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a common refrain to hear that uh, service-connected um, injuries and service-connected disability just ends up being found as not service-connected. That's something that you hear commonly. Um, okay. And so, but there is no. the other aspect of this is that does, that it does not apply to civil litigation against 3M for this, you see, because it's apples and oranges. If it, Just because the hearing loss is not sufficient to make it under VA guidelines, which we think is, you know, and I know they're inundated with these hearing loss cases, that does not mean you cannot proceed with a, a what we call a third-party case, a personal injury case, mm-hmm. more or less, against 3M, 3M, and that's exactly what we're doing. The question is the degree of loss is obviously important to determine the extent of the damages but that the the same rules do not apply that apply to VA. so so what 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 you're saying uh is you're suing 3m not 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 the va that's exactly right Right. and so even though the va has made their finding this is entirely separate and by the way it it wouldn't even if uh something was found to have been service connected by the va it would not affect uh, VA service connected uh, disability benefits. So suing 3M is entirely separate; does mm-hmm. not affect disability benefits. And that's an interesting thing, uh, Consul, because actually you could end up someone who is b- being uh, can prove, and you folks are representing uh, your clients relative uh, against 3M. But if something would happen and you were able to get something from from the government, you could uh, get something from both, right? That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From the VA and 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 3M, but it, it, it's important to note that this is 3M, and Theo, what you mentioned uh, is important, and uh, we appreciate that. Thank you so yeah. much for your call, Theo. Okay. You're welcome, Cliff. All, All right. right. Bye. Great Bye. comment. Uh, again, we are talking with Attorney Steve Seidman, uh, who is, of course, America's Heroes Group a sponsor, as you well know, and also advisory board member to America's Heroes Group and attorney Dan Seidman, personal injury offices that are located in Belleville and St. Louis, and of course, uh, Steve is right here in Chicago at 20 South Clark Street, 2 First National Plaza, uh, Suite 700, toll-free number is 888-837-3275. The office number is 312-781-1977. We want to take uh, another caller. Uh, let's go to Robert. Robert, how you doing? Hey, Cliff, how are you doing? Thanks Good. for taking my call. Yeah, thank you for calling America's Heroes Group, Robert. Go right ahead. I, I am a veteran. Uh, I uh, contacted an attorney regarding uh, a product uh, provided by a company to the military. Mm-hmm. And there was injuries uh, re- that resulted from that. And the attorney told me that... Uh, Anyone, a company or contract that does business for uh, the government, they cannot, they're immune from uh, lawsuits. Okay, who wants to respond? And that is just, it's, he might have been referring to something differently, and I can't say for sure that, uh, that, that, the, that he's completely incorrect, but is, at least as far as this con- is concerned, that's not true. Uh, 3M is able to be uh, sued. They are not immune, even though they were contractors. And, and let me tell you why, in some types of situations, and depending on the product, if, if the product is up to specifications of the government, the military, and I don't know whether your cause of action had to do with the hearing device, but if it, was, if it passed muster, right, then they do get immunity in certain situations, that is manufacturers. In this case, the allegations, what we're saying, uh, as far as our allegations and what was actually paid in that whistleblower lawsuit is the hearing devices were not up to snuff. So they don't get the benefit of immunity or of that protection if they don't manufacture a product that was supposed to have been manufactured in a certain way. I hope that explains it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think so. I'll, I'll listen for your number. I'll take it because I'll, I'll contact you off. Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure you have the number, Robert. I'll give it to you. Uh, because we're just about out of time. Let me make sure you have Attorney 
Steve Seidman, uh, of course, at uh, the number, toll-free number is 888-837-3275, and the office number is 312-781-1977. And uh, they do great work, and of course, that's uh, Steve's number, Dan's number. Uh, he's located in Belleville in St. Louis, but all you got to do, you know, is call the numbers we just gave. Uh, not only are they our sponsor, uh, but uh, Steve is also on our advisory board. So we're just pleased to uh, have them with us. Steve, why don't you give us a close? We got a couple of seconds left. Um, sure. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what? And this this is affecting an awful lot of people, I would imagine. And uh, an awful lot of people don't know about their rights to be able to pursue this. Um, and, uh, you know, most people think because mm-hmm. they're in the military, their sole exclusive remedy is through the military. Right. For many times that's right. But in this case, with hearing loss, anybody who has a hearing loss, which 25% of the claims, the worst nine, post-9-11 cause of disability, ought to explore um, pursuing um their hearing loss with the VA to get compensation, but two, their private right to bring the lawsuit against um, those who might be responsible for that. This is great information that you gentlemen have provided, and we certainly appreciate it. And Dan would like to say one thing, too. Sure, Dan. Mm -hmm. The the one thing that I would like to add is that if somebody is experiencing hearing loss, Mm -hmm. 3M, for about a decade, did have the exclusive contract. So the, the earplugs that uh, you would have been using were 3M earplugs. Mm. I think that's important to note. It is. That's all right, because you may not know that. They they had the contract exclusively. That's what you're saying, Dan, for some time? That's correct. Yeah. Yes, they mm-hmm. did have it beginning in 2003. Wow. Okay. That, that's uh, <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Dan, thank you so much, Steve. As always, thank you both. Great information. Good. and. Uh, we know there's a lot of it because you can even see it on TV. They don't say what, uh, they're just saying what has happened and to do something about it. So with you folks that are really taking it to uh, to really be meaningful and to get some folks some money, uh, this is a terrible thing. It shouldn't be happening. I want to thank it you. And, and, and something that a lot of people don't know about. Exactly, exactly. That's what we do here in America's Heroes Group, and we're sponsored by some great folks like you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Steve, and also Dan. Thank you both for being with us. Okay. This is the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. It's 430. Stay with us.